Hi, I'm Paul Swearingen, the nonpartisan evangelical, and this is my modern day parable, the really, really good Christian. A woman contacted Jesus on social media. Her profile picture showed her in Sunday best with her grandchildren at an Easter event at a large local church. She posted a question on Jesus' page. My Lord and Savior said her comment, what must I do to be a really good Christian in today's evil world? The response from Jesus came quickly as he was already using his device to post pictures from a neighborhood event he had attended that day with his team and a group of families. Why do you call me Lord? was his text response. Well, that's the name I've used for you since I said the sinner's prayer as a little girl, the woman replied with a praying hands emoji added at the end. Anyone sitting with Jesus would have seen him look at the screen with glassy eyes, his heart going out to this sweet woman. He knew she was asking with a sincere desire for assurance that he was pleased with her. In this evil world, he typed, what you do to be a really good Christian is this. Jesus posted this part of his reply, then hesitated, imagining her growing anticipation. A really good Christian must adamantly oppose abortion and vote for pro-life candidates, even if those candidates will do a poor job in the role to which they're elected. A really good Christian must share social media posts in support of laws banning gay marriage and keep your children and grandchildren from watching secular media. A really good Christian must be a strict constitutionalist, fervently support the Second Amendment and oppose all taxes, be angry at illegal immigrants and freeloading welfare recipients, display a love for country, always standing at attention for the national anthem. And if one has an American flag pin with a cross to wear, all the better. That displays your allegiance to me as an American. Having finished, Jesus hit the share button and sat back to await a response. At her kitchen desk, the woman smiled as she read the text on her screen, very pleased at what Jesus had written. She could barely contain her excitement as she responded, all of these things I have done all my life. The smile faded from Jesus' face as he read her words on his screen and prepared to respond again. If you do all those things, then there are just a few more things I require you to be a really, really good Christian. Jesus began to type the white letters sharply contrasting the dark green of his screen. You must go to a local abortion provider office and stop a young woman from having an abortion. Stop her by promising that your family will provide financial support, offer to pay for any health care costs she and the baby incur, and promise to pay for all daycare needed while the mother completes her education. After that, go to a local farm and work the fields with the workers there and learn their stories and go to a local African-American church and then accompany a black mother as she visits her son wrongly held in prison without a chance for parole. Next, you must meet a married gay couple in your area, build relationship with them and love them as much as you love your own family. Finally, visit a local elected official of the other political party and post a selfie you take with him or her. Publicly commit that you'll pray every day for that elected official's success and well-being as you've been commanded to do in the New Testament. The cursor blinked as Jesus allowed those words to linger on the screen. Jesus sat in an awkward, elongated digital silence as he waited for those three dots to appear on the screen that would show the woman was typing. Instead of words, however, a frown emoji popped up. After a few minutes of hearing nothing more from the woman, Jesus decided to send her a private message to make sure she was okay. Jesus was surprised to find she had unfriended him and blocked him from her page. Jesus typed a new post into his social media. Oh, how difficult it is for Christians today to live the life I displayed in the Gospels. I'm Paul Swearingen, the nonpartisan evangelical, and that is my modern day parable, the really, really good Christian.